Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechakwadash. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father, meaning He is, He exists, Bahasham, Ba'in, Ha, the Sham name, Yahweh Shai, being the Only Begotten Son, meaning He deliver, He saves. Rechakwadash, Holy Spirit, double honors to our apostles, the elders, the great mills, and the well, peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and above, above. Back at it when the list through the spirit of power of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, Lord Willing's video is edifying. Okay. And uh, this is a quote that a brother sent to me from uh, someone else, but the brother sent it to me and I heard it through the brother. All right. Pray more, worry less. Pray more, worry less, man. And that's what we are to be doing. Okay. We are to be doing that here in these last days because we're going to come into some troublous times, some perilous times. And. We are going to need the Lord. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. We're going to need the Lord in these times. You need the Lord every day. Because really, there, you go through troubles daily. There's there's perils within and without daily, man. Okay? And without the aid and the succor and the help of Yahweh Bashmel Shai, we wouldn't be here today, man. Okay? You know, nothing would ever endure unless the Most High uh, made it so. Okay? This is... um. Wisdom of Solomon 11 and verse 25, it says, And how could anything have endured if it had not been thy will or been preserved if not called by thee? That's right. So the Lord is the reason why things are still enduring to this very day. So the Lord is the reason why you woke up today. The Lord is the reason why you woke up yesterday. The Lord is the reason why, if it be his will, you wake up tomorrow. Or if you don't wake up tomorrow. It's the how Bashmael Shai's will, man. Okay? So point being, we need to make sure that we're getting in the constant habit of praying to Yahweh Bashmel Shai. I recommend, brothers, to set up a spiritual regimen, okay? And when I mean a spiritual regimen, you know, you set yourself a spiritual schedule, okay? And you try your best to stick by it, all right? Whether it be, uh, however, it's profitable for you, okay? You know, my spiritual regimen is I try to read a certain amount of chapters a day, which I'm sure brothers probably read more. <clears throat> and if you read less, then that's fine, okay? But just for just to give you an idea, I tried to read or listen to about seven chapters a day. If I if I don't read it, I'll listen to it on the audio. Um, seven chapters, pray, okay? Pray about in the morning time before the sun comes up. If if, if I'm up around that time, try to get it there before the sun comes up. If not in the morning, I wake up after the sun comes up. Pray in the morning, pray in the evening. All right, or it's like a pray at noon. All right, when it's around, uh, you know, twelve o'clock in the a in the afternoon. Okay, or somewhere around that time frame, whether it be a little bit before because I might be having to do something, or a little bit after. All right, pray at noon and pray at the evening. Okay, those are like the three main times for prayer, but also pray without ceasing. So, you know, pray throughout the day, whatever is in your spirit. Like the scriptures say, I will pray to thee seven times a day, which seven represents completion. Okay? So, you know, you're constantly going to get in the habit of praying to the Lord, all right? And then, you know, a part of that spiritual regimen, watching lessons. You know, I try to watch a certain amount of lessons within a day. Um, you know, before my, my goal was five, at least five lessons a day. But now it's, it's, it's a little different, you know what I'm saying? Now, um, you know, I can see in the spirit that the Lord has uh, things turning up. You know what I'm saying? And um, and I'm not trying to boast to myself. I'm sure brothers watch more. I'm sure. And if you watch less, that's that's fine, too. You do according to what your portion is. Like I said, your own spiritual regimen. You know, if I'm a if I'm a Jake who goes to the gym and I and I can squat a thousand pounds, my weekly uh, uh, squatting regimen is going to be different from a brother who squats 500 pounds. You know what I'm saying? And I don't squat neither that way. You know, I'm just giving an example. But in the kingdom, we're going to be blowing way past that and that's really what this is all about this is all about striving forth towards the kingdom the scriptures say bodily exercise profit of little but righteousness is profitable unto all things man okay because you can squat a thousand pounds but that's not going to save you in jacob's trouble what's going to save you is yahweh bashmael shot okay because if the lord take your legs out in jacob's trouble what the what that thousand pound squatting going to do for you in that day but since you were righteous with yahweh bashmael shot okay and he preserved you then guess what? You're going to be, the Lord's going to preserve you during these times of trouble too. But nonetheless, um, you know, and I'm not knocking brothers for going out and exercising either because I myself go out and exercise. These scriptures say bodily exercise profit of little. 
So it still profits a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And, and the scriptures speak about how a good heart will have care of his meat in his diet. So you're supposed to take care of your body. You know, and taking care of your, your, your body helps boost your spirit. Okay? Taking care of your body helps boost your spirit. Because if you, um, you know, let's say you feel sick. All right? It's going to obviously lower your vibration in the spirit and vice versa. If you feel good, you feel happy, you feel healthy, you feel energized, it's going to help raise your vibration in the spirit. Simple concept. Nonetheless, um, pray more, worry less, man. Okay, pray more, worry less. Brothers should really be getting into the habit of praying here in these last days, man, because we're coming into some evil times. All right, so I got a couple precepts and uh, Lord Willis' video was edifying. This is James 5 and uh, 13. It says, is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. All right. So is any among you afflicted? Let him pray, man. Okay. So if you're going through your afflictions, all right, because we go through afflictions throughout the week, all right, sometimes daily, you know, uh, some, some, some days the Lord lets up and he doesn't afflict you as much. Some days he'll afflict you more often than what you're used to. You know, it's all through the spirit. But nonetheless, we're overall still afflicted. Even if you had a good day in Babylon, key word, in Babylon, we're all still afflicted, man. Okay, because we're in captivity. You know, you can have some days where you don't catch as much as hell as, as, as other days. But guess what? You're still in captivity, man. So we're all still afflicted. So we should be praying daily, man. All right, praying more and worrying less. Because ultimately, to worry is to doubt. All right, and to doubt is disrespectful to Yahweh Shema Shai because the scriptures say it's impossible to please him, to please the Lord without faith, man. And truly, at this point in the game, all right, to doubt in the Lord is really just a slap in the Lord's face because there's nothing the Lord can't do. Now, it's a matter of if he feels like doing it or not. And you have to understand that because the Lord, he's not our genie. Yes, you know, we can pray to Yahweh Shema Shai and made our requests known to him. And more than likely, the Lord will answer your prayer if you're living right by him. But you also have to understand certain things that you might pray to the Lord for, the Lord might not take away from you because it's a part of his plan for you to go through it. All right. Yahweh Shai, many times Yahweh Shai prayed to the Most High, and many times the Most High would answer his prayers. But when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane and he was praying to the Lord, you know, Lord, if it be possible, take this cup away from me. All right. But what did he understand? Not as I will, but as thou will. So he understood. Look, I, it's not about my will. It's about your will, Lord. Okay. The Lord's counsel shall stand. All right. So you have to understand certain things you might pray to the Lord for and it might not come to you. That doesn't give you the um, the excuse, so to speak, to lose faith, because you have to understand that this is not our movie. This is not our program. Your life is not dictated by you. Your life is dictated by Yahweh Bashem Shai and what he wants for you. OK, and, and that's the scary part about it, too. You know, that's why we pray Yahweh Bashem Shai have mercy upon us, man. OK. This verse 14, it says, Is any sick among you, let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And that's another thing, too. Brother, when brothers pray for you, man, that's a big thing, man. Okay, it says, And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. All right? Yeah, the prayer of faith shall save the sick, man. So when you pray, you're supposed to pray with faith. Like King David said, I'm not praying with a feigned lips, man. Okay, when you pray to Yahweh Shema Shai, you're supposed to do it sincerely and seriously, man. And you're supposed to mean, mean what you're praying. Okay, verse 16, confess your faults one to another and pray for one another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. That's right. A prayer of a righteous man availeth much, man. I did a lesson on that the other day. Okay, so it's very powerful when you're, uh, you know, when you're a righteous brother and you make prayers to Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, or sister. Okay, because you had Judith, you know, she prayed unto the Lord for Israel and the Lord delivered Israel through Judith's hands, <laughs> you know. Now, that's that's an example to go to show you that Yahweh Bashem Shai can deliver Israel however he wants to. Okay. And that, another, that also goes to show you that you're going to have some women of the elect. All right. <clears throat> now, um, you know. I don't really want to get too far into that, so I'm just going to continue with the lesson. This is Philippians 4 and 6. It says, be careful for nothing. All right. And when you go into the word careful, it means to be anxious. Be anxious for nothing. All right. Don't worry. Don't doubt for nothing, man. Okay. It says, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto Yahweh Bashmel Shai. 
and the peace of Yahweh Bashem Shai, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Mashiach Yahweh Shai. That's right. Wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of our times. So be careful for nothing. Be anxious about nothing, man. Let your request be made known unto Yahweh Bashem Shai, man. Okay? Pray more, worry less. All right? And I'm going to try to, um, you know, if the Lord allows, zip through these precepts because, uh, I don't, you know, the sun is going down where I'm at. And, um... Jake don't really got too much light, okay? But we got the light of the scriptures, though. So, the Wadi Yabash This is Psalm 55 and 22. This is, uh, it says, Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. That's right. Cast your burden upon the Lord, man. Call Layim La Yabash Shai. That's what we are to do. We got to cast our burdens upon Yahweh Bashim Shai. When you're going through it, pray to Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. Why not? He's the one putting you through what you're going through. So you ask him to give you the strength to get through it. Okay? Pray to Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, man. Don't cease to pray to the Lord, man. Don't neglect to pray to Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, man. He wants you to pray to him, man. Okay? Sometimes the Lord will put you through something just so you can seek him, man. Okay? You know, the most high, he does what he wants to do. He does what pleases him in the sight of the heavens. So if you're not praying enough, the Lord might put you through some shit just so you can start praying, man. Because at the end of the day, he's trying to groom us to be to be perfect men of the Lord. He's grooming us to be perfect men of the Lord. He's grooming us to be well-rounded, well-rounded men of the Lord. Now, you might not be, you know, a specialist in one area that a brother, another brother's not a specialist in. But at least overall, you're still a well-rounded man of the Lord. Okay. Call I am like Yahweh Shai. So, guess what, man? Lift up praying hands to Yahweh Shai. Look up to the heavens, all right, and sincerely seek the Lord's face, man. Okay, and there be sometimes where you feel so contrite in your spirit where you don't look up to the heavens, and that's fine, all right. But for the most part, look up, man. Look up, like like uh, for instance, when you're talking to your parents, all right, and your parents be like, look at me when I'm talking to you. Same thing with the Most High. He's our, he's our, he is our father, okay? He is our spiritual father and our literal father, man, because we would have never been begotten without him, okay? But look up to Yahweh Bashem Shai. Look up to the heavens, man. Lift up your praying hands and pray to Yahweh Bashem Shai. And don't do it to be seen of men, all right? If you're around people and you need to pray in that moment, pray in your head, man, all right? Or if you have to, cover your mouth. You know what I'm saying? Whisper to the Lord. Whatever the case might be. Yaiqua be like, oh, I got a speed. So lucky. I don't like the way it smell. You know, pray to Yahweh Bashem You know what I'm saying? I'm being kind of facetious. But in a way, hey, you might, you never know. You might find yourself in a situation where you need to do that, man. But pray to Yahweh Bashem And don't pray to be seen of men. Pray out of truth and sincerity, man. All right? If you know you're around a crowd of people, don't just get down in the middle of the crowd and just start praying. Oh, Lord. Uh, you know? And now I will say this. Okay, the scriptures do say, uh, don't be as the hypocrites praying to be seen of men. But hey, the spirit, the spirit, like like people love to say, the, the, uh, God works in mysterious ways. There might be an occasion where you need to pray in front of men. There might be, but you want to make sure that if you do that, it's because the spirit told you to do that, and you knew the spirit wanted you to do that. But for the most part, don't pray in front of men. Okay, you know because hey, like I said. Sometimes the Lord, he, sometimes, hey, sometimes the Lord will put you through something to see where your heart's at, you know? But like I said, for the most part, don't be praying in front of men. Don't be praying in front of men just to be seen of men, man. All right, pray, to, pray, pray in your closet like Yahweh I said. And who knows? Uh, the Lord might not put you through a situation like that. More than likely, the Lord won't. But then again, just in case he does, you do what the Spirit tells you to do, man. Okay, in righteousness and in truth and sincerity. But... But for the most part, don't be praying in front of men, okay? But there might be a time in Jacob's Trouble where you might be in front of a crowd and, you know, you're going to heal somebody. And so you pray to Yahweh Bashem Shai. That's something for you pray to Yahweh Bashem Shai in front of men. But you healed that man and that miracle was seen and those around about you seen that miracle. And some people who were in that crowd were of the elect and they believed on it, man. All right, but you have to do it when the spirit gives you the unction and the sanctioning to do so, man. Don't just be praying in front of men to pray in front of men so people can look at you and be like, oh, look at him. He's a man of God. Look at him. A true man of the Lord moves in silence. A true man of the Lord is low key with his righteousness. OK, that doesn't mean you're trying to hide it and you're and you're ashamed to be a man of Yahweh Bashem Shai, But you're, that means you're doing it out of sincerity. You're not doing it to be seen of men. OK, so that's the point. Um, let's go ahead and get this preset. Lord will.
This is uh, Psalms 42. And Matthew, the sixth chapter, is the chapter that Yahweh tells us to not pray like the hypocrites, man, and, and to not pray in the streets and in the synagogues to be seen of men. Okay? This is uh, Psalms 42 and 5. It says, Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted in me? Hope thou in Yahweh by Shemel Shai, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. That's right. All right? So, you know, why are we cast down? Why is our soul cast down, man? Okay, because sometimes you're going to go through it. Sometimes in Babylon, you're going to go through it, man. But you always got to remember that you have the Lord on your side, man. The Lord is our help. He is our shield. He is our defense. So we could pray to him in these times of trouble, man, because he's going to sustain us, man. So sometimes you got to sit back and ask yourself, like, damn, why am, I, why am I cast down on my soul? You know, like, damn. You know, pray y'all about me all shy. He is our help. <laughs> you know, pray more, worry less, man. Okay, not saying you're never going to go through it or you're never going to be sad or sorrowful. I'm not saying that. But, you know, always remember the fact that you have the Lord as your help, man. All right, this is Psalms 86, starting at verse 1. Bow down thine ear, O Lord, hear me, for I am poor and needy. Yeah, we're poor and needy, man. We have we have things that, uh, we have we, we, we have our daily bread, man. The Lord, he feeds us what's sufficient for us, man. We have uh, what we need to survive the day, pretty much. Okay? You know, we're not living in fatness like Esau, Edom. We're poor and needy as a nation. <clears throat> it says, preserve my soul, for I am holy, O thou my power. Save thy servant that trusteth in thee. Be merciful unto me, O Lord, for I cry unto thee daily. Right, you're supposed to be praying to Yahweh Shemashai daily, man. Okay? You know, Lord willing, there's not a day that goes by where we don't pray unto the Lord. It says, rejoice the soul. And if there is a day that goes by where you don't pray unto the Lord, man, I don't give a fuck how busy you are. Find the fucking time, bro. All right? Straight up. It says, rejoice the soul of thy servant. For unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. For thou, and I speak to myself first and foremost. All right? It says, for thou, Lord, art good and ready to forgive and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Read that again. Uh, Psalms 86 and 5. For thou, Lord, art good and ready to forgive and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer. Attend to the voice of my supplications. In the day of my trouble, I will call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me. All right? And why would the Lord answer our prayers? Because we're living right by him. We're doing that which is pleasing in his sight. We're not turning our ears away from hearing the law, which represents the scriptures as a whole, man. Because if you don't hear, if you're not doing what's pleasing in the Lord's sight, then your prayers are an abomination to him, man. Okay? Let me get the precepts on that. That's another thing, too, because you have some jakes to be like, man, I, I be praying to God, but he don't answer my prayers. That's probably because you're a wicked ass nigga and you're not trying to get right with the Lord. You're just praying to the Lord for your own gain, not because you sincerely want to have a relationship with Yahweh Shemel Shai. This is Proverbs 28 and 9. And you're probably calling. And, you know, well, let me let me read the scripture. This is Proverbs 28 and 9. It says he that turns away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. OK. So if you turn your ears away from these scriptures, if you reject these scriptures, man, your prayer is an abomination to the Lord, man. Okay? Let me get another one. 1 Peter 3 and 12. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers, but the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. All right? Yeah. Plain and simple. All right? The face of the Lord is against them that do evil. So he's going to hide his face from your prayers. Okay, if you're not living right, like it says, the Lord's ears is not heavy that it cannot hear. His hand is not short that it cannot save. But your iniquity have separated between you and your power, man. And your sins have hid his face from you. That's what it is. Okay, not like the Lord can't hear you from the heavens. He can hear you, but you don't hear him. So when you call unto him, he's not going to hear you because when he called unto you, you didn't want to hear. John 9 and 31. Now we know that Yahweh Bashmashai heareth not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of Yahweh Bashmashai and doeth his will, him he heareth. All right? That's it. That's it, man. Okay? So the Lord, he hears not sinners, man. All right? Salakio. This is um, John chapter 3 and verse 22. It says, And whatsoever... We ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandments 
and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. That's right. And this is his commandment, that we should believe on the name of his son, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and love one another as he has gave us commandments. And he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him, and he in him. And hereby we know that, we, that he abideth in us by the spirit which he hath given us. That's right. So we know the Lord is in us because we have his Holy Spirit. All right? And how do we have his Holy Spirit? Because we believe on his only begotten Son, and we do that thing which is right in his sight. And it's out of our own will. It's of the will of Yahweh Shai. Okay? Psalms 86, starting at uh, verse 1. Verse uh, 7, it says, in the day, uh, it's like in verse 5, I'll read it again. Psalms 86 and 5, for thou, Lord, art good and ready to forgive. Actually, let me start at verse 3. Be merciful, Psalms 86 and 3, but be merciful unto me, O Lord, for I cry unto thee daily. Rejoice the soul of thy servant, for unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. For thou, Lord, art good and ready to forgive and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer and attend to the voice of my supplications. In the day of my trouble, I will call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me. Among the gods, there is none like unto thee, O Lord. Neither is there any, neither are there any works like unto thy works. All nations whom thou hast made shall come and worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. And that's what it's going to be like in the kingdom. All these different nations are going to um, worship Yahweh Shemel Shai, including the heathen. Okay, he says, for thou art great and doest. That don't mean that salvation is for the heathen, though. All right. It just means that they're gonna they're not gonna serve any other idol gods in the kingdom. They're gonna serve Yahweh Bashmel Shai. Okay, it says, For thou art great and doest wondrous things and does wondrous things, thou art the most high alone. Teach me thy way, O Lord, I will walk in thy truth, unite my heart to fear thy name. I will praise thee, O Lord, my power, with all my heart, I will glorify thy name forevermore. For great is thy mercy toward me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell. O Yahweh Bashmashai, the proud are risen against me, and the assemblies of violent men have sought after my soul, and have not set thee before them. But thou, O Lord, art a, are a power full of compassion and gracious, long suffering, and plenteous in mercy and truth. O turn unto me and have mercy upon me. Give me thy strength unto thy servant, and save thy son of thine handmaid. Shew me a token for good that they which hate me may see it and be ashamed because thou lord has hope in me and comforted me that's right man so you know as you can tell it's getting dark all right lord willing this video was edifying man pray to y'all about your shine pray more worry less man all right and pray without ceasing okay so you know i think i might close with that if the spirit allows let me see yep all right, so hey, Lord, when this video was edified, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Kakwadash, Double Honesty, Apostle, Elders, the Great Muslim, Never Will, Peace and Blessings to the Elect of Israel, Shalom, and Ababa Ball.